already there was considerable unrest among women about the fidelity of men in marriage and also the control of men. Women felt that the power of men was being used unfairly in the fact that they were so dependent upon them financially and that they could not trust them in their willingness to give of themselves without a dominating demand. The generation before Roe versus Wade were able to say, I had that experience many times. So I don't want to place everything upon abortion because I think there's much uh, that has contributed to the abortion environment that, as a matter of fact, is part of the very nature of what it means to be a part of this consumer society. What I'm saying is that the issue that we're dealing with is, is not simply individual human beings. There is a culture that is a, a technological mindset, that is that we not only use things, but we use persons to, to increase one's own power and one's own ability to survive. The issue of abortion really requires an honest and mature addressing by the American people. I, I believe increasingly we are perceiving children as objects of fear, our fear of them. They are objects of fear because they are preventing us from being what we want to be. To perceive a child as an enemy, as a menace, is a fundamental aberration of the human person. How do we respond to all of this? I think one of the fundamental responses is the blessedness that Jesus gave to those who mourn. Blessed are those who weep, for they shall be comforted. I weep for the United States. I, I don't know what to do uh, because I see it as so mortally damaging to us as a people in the beauty of, of what our potential is. So I think we need to mourn uh, and to weep. But there are tears that are are tears that, that lead us to a more profound personal conversion. Uh, we need to love our brothers and sisters who are co-nationalist with us. We need to, to understand the meaning of forgiveness within this context. We need above all to pray for them and to pray for ourselves that we do not become arrogant in our response because we too are sinners. And we need to pray that uh, others may be more open to this uh, wonderful call that is theirs. Mm -hmm.